Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to start the second part of the second season of ReZero today and I'm really curious to see what's going to happen now. So, it was really interesting to learn about uh, all of those things during the first part of the second season and uh, it was especially great for me to uh, meet uh, all of those witches. So, they are really... like, their designs are really awesome and we got to learn a bit uh, of their personalities as well. Um, and there's like a, there's like this really big situation happening. So Satella finally showed up, and we could uh, actually see her face. And uh, like um, or as expected, she looks uh, almost exactly like uh, uh, Emilia. So that really explains uh, the reactions of all of those people when they saw e Emilia. Uh, but yeah, I actually watched the. Um, like a recap of this first part, just to be a bit more sure of uh, everything that happened during it and uh, to understand some of um, uh, those moments better, because the first time I watched this, it's um, a bit hard to uh, fully understand everything, but uh, I'm going to do my best to understand as much as possible during this second part and just really want to have uh, fun with this. It's a uh, of course, going to be a bit tricky for this to happen since uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, like bad situations and uh, we can see um, that Subaru ends up um, suffering uh, a lot. But uh, hopefully some things will start changing. I'm not too sure of uh, what's uh, uh, going to happen now. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know when um, they will be facing or when Subaru is going to be facing the the great uh, white rabbit because uh, in uh, during one of those episodes uh, he got attacked by them and they are like um, there's a whole lot of them and uh, then the witch of gluttony explained that in order to defeat him or like uh, this um, uh, the the great um, uh, the great white rabbit, um, they they need to kill every single small one at the same time. So I don't know how they will pull that uh, uh, off. I don't know if, uh, uh, like, I don't know when that will happen or if it will happen at all. Like, it's something to discover by watching these episodes, of course. Um, so yeah, there's um, a lot of questions, of course. There's uh, a lot of things that we learned during this first part. Like, um, there's... a. Uh, that thing about um, the, uh, that girl from before with the, the pink hair. I'm going to have some trouble uh, memorizing some of the names, but uh, hopefully during this second part, I will um, I will like remember them better. Uh, but yeah, she's apparently that's apparently not a, a real body. There's this uh, a real body is like um, in some uh, I don't know if I should call it a freezer or something. It's like uh, in in a, a specific place. Um, and these are actually um, clones of her. So th that was because of uh, Echidna trying to uh, discover uh, ways to fight, like to, to to basically become immortal, I guess. Um, so yeah, that was um, there was a, a whole lot of things. I mean, I could be here talking all day about everything we learned with the first part. Uh, but yeah, it was. Um, I I just really also want to mention uh, Beatrice. Because uh, apparently she was a spirit contracted to Echidna, so that was quite the revelation and uh, it was something that uh, I was waiting for to learn more uh, about Beatrice because she was really mysterious, always inside of that um, uh, uh, library or something. Um, so yeah, it was nice to learn a bit more about her and uh, it was really sad to see that moment with Elsa killing her during one of those times. Uh, but she was still able to to send uh, a Subaru to, to to another place. So um, she was at least able to do that, and eventually he um, was able to do things in some other way. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, like every time he kept um, like uh, using the the witch factor. I guess I don't know um, like the return by death. Uh, every time he used that. Um, things were completely different, so he always had to adapt to it, and it was like really, really hard for him. Of course, at some point, he just wanted to give up. Um, but yeah, I really want to see more of these witches, and uh, I really, again, love the fact that we got to meet them finally uh, during this first part. And I already like some of them, like Minerva and um, like Echidna. I also, uh, or like I always really liked her the first moment I saw her. 
Um, but uh, I mean, she is the witch of great, so of course she was going to have this kind of personality, and she was saying some things that uh, I really didn't like. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens uh, uh, during these next episodes. I really can't wait to watch this um, this next one. So with this, really hope you guys are ready, and let's start it. And also one of the big events, Rem losing like her memories and name being eaten. This was actually in Portuguese. Let's change the subtitles to English. This is how it ended the first part. I really like Otto. A really good guy. Yeah. This moment. Hmm. That's also true. Yeah, you can't put everyone in the same bag. Would be different with Otto. Hmm. Returned by this. Can't you can't say anything. Is he going to try? Hmm. He was able to talk with Ekin about it. Hmm. Yeah, learned a lot about Roswell as well. Hmm.
Hmm. Hmm. Sheer greed. So that makes you remember Akidna? Hmm. Let's see how he does it this time. <laughs> Great bet. Man, this was quite something. Hmm. I want to see this with Amelia. How she's going to do it. Hmm. Guy, Big change in his attitude now. Toto played a big part. Literally bros at this point. Bees. Vyuzu, that was her name. Hmm. Ooh. 
is the, the Apostle of Slot, right? No, uh, not Slot. Or is it? I think it is. Because he defeated Petal Goose. Not too sure, though. Hmm. Yeah, not going to be easy to deal with Garfield. Hmm. Yeah. Arma. It's Bilma. Hmm. Shima. Oh, it was that one. It one was. Sense of this uh, scent of the witch, which scent? Hmm. Oh. She was with him before, right? Yeah. Ooh. Want to know more about this? We know this. Like Frederica as well. Oh, her mother. Yeah. Inzo.
Hmm. This is really, really interesting. Oh. Is there? <laughs> hmm. At bout face. <laughs> Wasn't it nice? Is this is related to that um, to the movie. I remember that from the movie. It is. This was during the movie. Hmm. And blame her for that. Exactly. I was late. And this moment. And yeah, this is actually really nice. Learned a lot with that. I think it was a movie, not an OVA. Quite long. Hmm. Fuck. Coming out. I don't think he can appear though, right?
the memories. And that younger version of her, not version, but I mean, when she was young. Oh, he shows. It's really small, <laughs> even more adorable, I guess. He's leaving. Damn, Subaru. I wonder what they talked about. Oh. Is this why? So she can remember everything. Her mother. Yeah. We know that. Yeah. It's really sad, though. Yeah. Hmm. I hope he comes back at some point after this. Like Emilia so much. Memories. But her mother. Mother Fortuna. 
a Subaru left. Damn. If this is part of his plan, but Where is she? Is she inside of the graveyard? Oh, there's two cups. I don't know if that was from before when they were together, but she left. That it's different, right? Emilia and uh, and that one were together. That Otto. Damn. Hmm. And oh, there she is. She's in that place where Subaru was before. I wonder if they did this on purpose, like if he left the room on purpose to make a, like, maybe he was expecting Emilia to come to this place and now they are, um, like, um, in a place where not, um, like, there's no other people, so they can, uh, talk freely without being interrupted or something. I'm not too sure, but, um, it's pretty clear that uh, Subaru has uh, a different attitude right now. And mostly because of Otto, he was a, a big help, and um, he's uh, still uh, helping him out. So it's really cool to see Subaru and Otto working together in order to uh, like make things better. Um, but yeah, I'm really like um, that's uh, that scene really affected me with um, with the Puck. Like uh, I was not expecting him to just break the contract. I don't know if that was something. That uh, Subaru and uh, Puck uh, thought uh, about, and maybe the um, like it was all so Emilia could remember everything, and uh, that way um, tell everything to Subaru and uh, work uh, with that. I'm not too sure what was the, the intentions, um, but yeah, it was definitely a really important moment, and uh, like uh, we we got to see Puck again, and. Uh, like uh, after a while he was gone so that was um, that was really sad of course uh, but i wonder if uh, he will be back um, at some point and uh, make another contract with emilia after this is over uh, but i don't know like the way he, he was talking like um, about uh, uh, like he was talking in a way like he was going to be gone forever uh, but uh, i don't know if that was mostly because of the moment and something that uh, subaru and uh, puck agreed with so this is something that I can only assume, like, uh, this is what I think right now, that they um, decided on doing something like this to help uh, Emilia, that's, like, the, the main objective, of course. Uh, but, yeah, it was definitely a really great episode, and I really can't wait to see what the next ones are going to show me, because uh, the situation is really not easy for them, and they really need to do everything... Uh, 
like uh, in the right way. I don't know if I should call it the right way because I don't know if there's such thing, but they really need to play uh, their cards right. So it's not going to be easy for them to to do like um, everything right, of course. Um, but um, it's interesting that there's this uh, bet with Roswell and uh, that was like really sudden, like right at the start of the episode uh, after Subaru and Otto talked. Um, it was totally different, so that was really nice to see. I really like when Subaru is more focused on uh, like um, solving this uh, problem rather than being uh, down and really affected. I mean, not that, um, not like he doesn't have reasons to be down because uh, is uh, like it's really. I don't think anyone in this place uh, can imagine the amount of suffering he went through. So. It's, um, of course, really easy for him to, uh, like, be negative and stuff. Uh, but he really needs to be strong if he wants to, um, like, protect the one he really loves and uh, to be, like, um, worthy of being loved by her. Um, and, yeah, it's a, it's definitely a really beautiful story. And uh, I'm really happy that uh, uh, now there's the second part. So I'm going to keep watching all of the episodes as soon as they air. Um, or at least, uh, of course, like maybe uh, during some days I won't be able to record right after, uh, like now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and watch uh, the episodes as soon as possible. Um, and I really can't wait to see what's going to happen after all of this. So with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week for the next episode.